Hi, I'm Malik Delancey, psychologist working in the field of mental health and education. And today I'd like to comment on a piece of research which is entitled The Long-Term Effects of Primary School Based Obesity Prevention Interventions in Children, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. Now, this is a very interesting piece of research because we know that proper exercise, we also know that proper nutrition aids in development, aids in growth. So as our children continue to grow, we want them to be able to be effective learners in the classroom. We want them to be able to self-regulate. We want them to be healthy. So... This research is, is very timely and it is important, especially as it relates to obesity, because there is appearing to be a growing number of children uh, between the ages of 6 to 12 that are experiencing obesity. Keep in mind these statements made here are based on my views or opinions as well as research I will have done for this video. I will put links in the description based on my research. The content presented here should never be used as a substitute for direct medical and or psychological advice from your doctor or qualified clinicians. This video is based on my personal desire to bring to consumers the science behind mental health and related behaviors. So, this research paper, it looked at a number of research. Uh, it's a meta-analysis and it also looked at individual research. Now, there were some research papers that it could not put in their research. The researchers could not put in their meta-analysis because it did not fit adequately. There was some defect with it. But they were able to have a number of research that added value to what they were looking at, what they were trying to research here. So they were looking basically at the body mass index. They were looking at waist size of the students. And uh, what's interesting is that the researchers looked at research that focused, some focus on diet, some focused on physical activities, uh, some focus on a combination of both physical activity and diet. The researchers, they looked at research that will have followed the students, uh, followed the children at least 12 months and a little over that to see if it is that the intervention strategies worked effectively in helping them to uh, reduce in, in their size, to reduce the uh, obesity that some of them may have had, as well as to prevent obesity from those who were not considered to be obese or in that category. Now, these children, uh, it appeared that they will have received a good bit of information and uh, they will have received some guidance, some training in proper eating and proper exercise. Uh, what's interesting, though, is that one will think that sometime after the training was completed that these students will have continued engaging in proper practice of healthy eating and exercise. Uh, but that was not the case. The research actually showed that there were no clear evidence regarding long-term effects of primary school-based interventions on obesity-related outcomes. So it appeared that whatever intervention was tried 
it had no great impact on obesity. It had no great impact on the students or on the children uh, gaining weight. What this says is that, well, it says a number of things, but what it says is that either the research that the researchers used in their meta-analysis, some of them were defective, possibly, and the researchers in this research even indicated that there were some limitations in the number of available research and the low quality of some of the studies. So it could be that the strategies that were taught to these children worked better than reported. That's a possibility. Uh, but the researchers of the various pieces of research that made up this meta-analysis uh, did not follow these students, did not follow these children in a very systematic way. Some of the children too may have gone over the age of 12 and may not have been counted in the various studies. So that is a possibility for data collection in following up on these children. Another possibility might be that there needs to be more focus on maintaining healthy behaviors. So that is also a possibility. Maybe these strategies up front worked pretty good during the period of time that the children were receiving the support, um, encouragement, the motivation to exercise and to eat healthy. But when that was no longer offered and they were tracked months later, they basically just fell off the wagon. So it is possible that there needs to be some kind of healthy behavioral strategies going forward to support these children, not just between the ages of 6 to 12, but into teenage years and even into adulthood. And that may actually work better than giving them strategies probably during a six-month period on how to eat properly or how to exercise and then leaving them to figure it out for themselves. It is also possible that the children were basically targeted with healthy eating and with proper exercise, but their families were not targeted. So what happened is that when the researchers or the the persons who will have provided guidance with diet and guidance with exercise were true with the children, that information did not pass to the parents or the guardians. So when the child went home, they simply eat what was available. It is also possible that because it was not a family, um, the family wasn't targeted, that the goals of the family wasn't to sustain or to reduce body weight. So it was just the children. But if the family was targeted, then the family will kind of encourage each other to remain focused, to continue exercising, to continue eating healthy. So it is possible that going forward, research like these or other research, either meta-analysis, need to focus on research that focus on families and see if there is any kind of positive findings as opposed to just focusing on research where only the children are targeted. But this is a good study in that it helps us to raise questions so those who might be involved in policy making or those who might be involved in assisting with training children are now able to focus not just on the child but to focus on the family. In so doing, the family will motivate each other, will encourage each other, and obesity will then 
go down or the number of persons who um, score as being obese, the numbers will fall once the family is targeted. So that's all for today. Hope this information was insightful or informative. If it was, please like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.